rich in resources. And so what I worry about the, is the extraction of research uh, from these, uh, from these um, reserves of heavy crude oil, uh, light sweet crude that was discovered off the shores of Guyana, uh, the largest growing economy. 25% GDP is anticipated for Guyana over the next five years. Um, you have 60% of the world's lithium in the lithium triangle, Argentina, Bolivia, Chile, uh, and copper, gold. We have the Amazon, so the resources are so rich. And when you look at the strategic competition globally, but then also in this hemisphere, uh, you want to make sure that, that uh, things aren't uh, adversaries and strategic competitors aren't trying to go there for nefarious reasons to extract. Uh, this hemisphere has the potential to feed and fuel the world. I say that again, to feed and fuel the world. But when you talk about the, the agriculture and the fisheries, by 2028, Latin America will have 25% of the agriculture and uh, fisheries in the globe. You know, who knew? So we should be talking about the potential of this hemisphere, and then economics. So been working very, very hard on the economic side of the house. U.S. companies, what are their barriers to outcompete? We need to raise the profile and the branding of Team USA for our companies. So bringing all of these things together, how can we do that better for Team USA as part of Team Democracy in this hemisphere?